from Elon Musk's latest gift for Dogecoin and crypto holders to IMF massive warning for cryptos, a number of important things are happening right now, and I'm going to show you everything you need to know. So let's start by having a quick look at the overall crypto market. So we can see here that there is a lack of any further growth in crypto prices, and almost all cryptos are currently moving sideways. However, the good thing is that Bitcoin's price seems ready for another uptrend and a recovery rally from here. And this resurgence of bullish momentum for Bitcoin seems to be seeping into Dogecoin, Ethereum, Shiba Inu, and other altcoins. And in this video, I'm going to talk about price analysis and the latest updates for Bitcoin, Doge, ETH, and others. But let's first come to this very important news that I think every holder needs to see. So we are now seeing that Charlie Munger has revealed that he doesn't like cryptos. And recently, he made some verbal attacks on cryptos and compared them with a viral disease. Moreover, he revealed that he hasn't invested in cryptos. And he is proud of the fact that he avoided cryptos because they are like some venereal disease. And the reason why he doesn't like cryptos is that he believes that extortionists, kidnappers, tax evaders, and terrorists use them. So Charlie Munger has just given a massive warning to cryptos and holders. However, I think that most of the people and investors are not going to take his warning too seriously. This is because soon after Munger gave his statement, Elon Musk came up on Twitter and defended cryptos. So Elon Musk has addressed the controversial crypto-related comments made by Charlie Munger by recalling how Munger was acting dismissive of Musk and Tesla. We can see here that Musk shared a story that once, during lunch, Munger told the whole table that Tesla would fail. And while Musk admits that the biting comment saddened him, he told Munger that it was worth trying to make Tesla a success in spite of the low chance of success. And as we know, Tesla is currently one of the most successful companies, and its CEO Elon Musk is currently the richest man in the world. So this clearly shows us that Charlie Munger was wrong about the future of Musk and his firm Tesla. And now, it appears that his opinion on cryptos is also wrong. And this is exactly why Musk shared this story. And he wants to tell the crypto community not to be concerned over these comments from Charlie Munger. And has been wrong in the past, so he can be wrong now as well. And we can see here that besides Musk, many members of the crypto community have slammed Charlie Munger for being out of touch with modern tech and MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor is one of them, and he is also slamming Munger for his negative opinion of cryptos. And another important thing I want to highlight here is that Charlie Munger is the partner of investor Warren Buffett and the co-founder of Berkshire Hathaway. And I shared in one of my recent videos that Buffett is now making more and more investments in crypto-related firms like Neobank, and these investments have been made from Berkshire Hathaway. So the point is that while Charlie Munger's own firm is investing in cryptos, his negative comments on cryptos appear to be contradictory. So just like Musk is saying to us, I think we shouldn't take his remarks seriously. And with that being said, let's come to Dogecoin's price and technical analysis. So Doge has been trading sideways for the last couple of days. And apparently, there are no signs of any bullish momentum for it. However, if we dig a little deeper into it, I think that Doge still can manage to initiate another recovery rally from here. This is because two important technical indicators of Doge, its daily RSI value and its MACD level, are currently sitting on the bullish side. And this clearly means that the current outlook for Dogecoin is still very positive. And this is not it. We can also see here that about 53% of Dogecoin holders are currently in profits at current price levels. And another important thing to note here is that about 50% of holders are actually long-term holders. So this means that Dogecoin holders have remained bullish on it even when its price faced some dips in recent months. So these are some additional bullish indicators for Doge. And seeing this, I'm pretty excited for it and I think that Doge is going to initiate a recovery rally in the coming weeks. In any case, I'd like to remind you here that this is no financial advice since I'm not a professional financial advisor. So it is recommended that you do your own research before investing in cryptos. And now, I want to talk about this warning for holders coming from the IMF. So the managing director of the IMF is saying that crypto assets and stablecoins are no match for well-designed central bank digital currencies. And she believes that if CBDCs are designed prudently, they can potentially offer more resilience, more safety, greater availability, and lower costs than private forms of digital money. So this is indeed a massive warning.
But I'd like to say here that I don't think that CBDCs can surpass cryptos. This is because people are coming into cryptos due to their decentralized nature. And CBDCs don't provide this. And I think that people are not going to get too involved in such projects. And I think that cryptos are here to stay and they have a really bright future. And with that being said, let's come to Bitcoin's price analysis. So Bitcoin is also continuing its sideways movement, and its price has dropped below the 44k mark. However, as I said before, Bitcoin's price appears to be ready for another uptrend and a recovery rally from here. This is because Bitcoin is still moving above its 20-day simple moving average, and besides this, it has managed to keep its daily RSI value in the neutral zone. So despite this sideways movement, things appear to be very positive for it. And we are now seeing a very important bullish indicator for Bitcoin. So we can see here that Bitcoin's market dominance looks pretty bullish when compared with the stats from 2017. And as per crypto analyst Blake, it's hard to deny these repeating patterns. And since Bitcoin managed to move to the upside when this happened back in 2017, if history is any guide, I think that Bitcoin will do the same this time as well. And as per on Chain College, an encouraging sign for the current Bitcoin rally is that short-term holders have been selling a profit for most of February. And we can see here that Breakeven has held support this month for Bitcoin. And the encouraging thing is that short-term holders are not giving away their Bitcoin at a loss. And this is bullish for Bitcoin since it is indicating that Bitcoin may not see a massive sell-off in the coming months. And this means that it can manage to move to the upside from here. And another important indicator has been shared by analyst Caleb Franzen. So what he is saying is that Bitcoin and the four-week Williams R oscillator are flashing an exciting signal. And this means that there is now a full oscillation from oversold to overbought zone. And this means that there is now a momentum thrust for Bitcoin. And most importantly, there have been six similar occurrences since Jan 2020. And after every weekly thrust, the average one-month return is more than 25%. So the point is that if Bitcoin can secure a strong weekly close, it will make some bullish moves going forward. And as per analyst Credible Crypto, Bitcoin still has room to move to the upside. And he is saying that Bitcoin is currently having some strong moves up, some shallow pullbacks, and then the continuation of this pattern. And he has predicted that as long as the 42k level holds the LTF wave structure, it is highly likely that Bitcoin will start the next push up. And now let's come to Ethereum, as there is a massive update for it. So Twitter has recently added Ethereum to its payment option, and its users can now send or receive ETH tips on the platform. So this is an important update for Ethereum, since it is just another use case for it. And this development can potentially reflect some positivity on its price in the coming days. And another bullish thing for ETH is that while its price has been struggling during the last couple of weeks, whales have been quietly accumulating it. And besides whales, we are also seeing that the number of new and small addresses for Ethereum has also increased recently. So this means that investors are currently bullish on ETH, and their confidence in it can actually help its price to make some positive moves. And talking about whales, we are now seeing that whales are also accumulating some low market cap altcoins. So as per data from Santiment, whales have recently gone bullish on Sushi, Uniswap, and Band, and they have accumulated a significant amount of these cryptos. So this means that whales are expecting some massive gains from these altcoins in the near future. And now if we come to Shiba Inu, it has also become the favorite crypto of Ethereum whales. And we are now seeing that the largest Ethereum whales have accumulated over $2 billion worth of SHIB tokens. And this means that SHIB is back on the list of assets the whales are buying most. And this is pretty bullish for it. And I think this move by whales can fuel the price of Shiba Inu to the upside pretty soon. And now coming back to Doge, I just want to mention here that its holder should not worry about its current price. They should look at the long-term outlook. And as I explained in this video, the long-term outlook of Doge is very bullish. In fact, we can also expect some positive moves in the short term for a brief moment. In any case, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Dogecoin is going to move to the upside from here? Let me know in the comment section below.